Welcome everyone, Dr. Thor here. Get ready for Gnosis. Well, something that has uh, been requested for me to make a particular lecture on and something I've talked about briefly, but let's go back into this because uh, I publish a couple of books on what would be considered um, influencing people. And that's what it really is all about. And what there was very big in the 80s and 90s was these uh, seduction gurus and all their information is out there and I'm assuming they're still running. I had personal experience with um, three different seduction gurus. Ross Jeffries I had quite a bit of contact with. I used to sell his book. He sold my book Psychic Sexual Command. There was a guy named Yates Knipe um, who was a real crook and there was another guy, I'm trying to remember his name, but he was a famous guy uh, out there that had his uh, problems as well. Put out some very expensive courses, and um, I'm trying to remember his name, but he was uh, more in the upper echelon of this stuff and did some more professional type NLP stuff. Now, neuro-linguistic programming is an interesting, and that's what all of these systems are based on. You use certain terms and words, and this is supposed to make you fall in love with people or at least them um, dropping their panties, so to speak. So this was all about influencing people. And there was a group of people, uh, they wrote this giant book on it. Ross Jeffries, I think, was the first to do anything. It was a little booklet, How to Get the Woman You Desire into Bed. It was a very popular book, about 30, 40 pages of basic little uh, techniques um, which weren't really profound but what you do is you write stuff like that and then you have seminars like he did and still does I believe and you go out and um, uh, use these uh, these contacts you have to have seminars that you charge then eight nine hundred dollars a weekend for and they're certainly worth it to uh, get this kind of information but what can you, you know, everybody has a conception of anything that's dealing with the metaphysics aspects of things is that is somehow some sort of Hollywood empowerments that people drop at your feet, uh, that you hypnotize them <clears throat> like in a bad vampire movie. Well, none of that is real. Nobody can do that. Uh, you, nobody's able to control somebody, which is what you want, like a robot like a slave. You hypnotize them and they do whatever they want. Uh, now, hypnotism in general is very powerful and something that everybody should study. You should learn how to hypnotize people and how that works. Very, very important to do. That's one of your first things to do. Wow. Now, the problem with all these NLP things, and they teach you how to talk to people, how to go into bars and other things to manipulate people, and um, you know, personally, I think everything is fair game to begin with. I mean, the whole meeting people, which is so difficult, uh, the sur superficial environment, the kind of crud that women pick and empower. You know, one of the problems of the world we have out there is that you know, women tend to empower the slow the the slugs of this world, um, the football captain, the other people. Well, I mean, these are jerks, and the pretty girls go after them. Why? Because they can throw a ballie. So I find all this very offensive, but it's very typical. And uh, the female mentality certainly isn't something that is very high. Now, the bottom line is I'm not over thrilled about males either. I mean, males are very simple, though. And there is a big difference between the simpleton male mind and the confused, dangerous, and perverse a mind of a female. And, of course, you know, most societies uh, turn the torture over to the females, by the way. But without getting into that uh, too deeply here, but, you know, the whole idea is, uh, Annie, I don't consider the books that I published or any of them to be uh, based in, in uh, sexual uh, compelling. That's just a part of life. And a part of life is manipulating people. Uh, and this, you know, it's amazing how many women buy psychic sexual command because they want to get a certain type of guy as well. They're approached, just about every woman is approached all the time, but not by the right guys. So a lot of people that buy psychic sexual command and um, brain, uh, brain screwing, um, mind screwing, a book that we have, we have different volumes of it, but these are psychic influencing books with the fun aspect of using this to manipulate people potentially sexually, which is extremely difficult to do, particularly with the kind of problems uh, that, and the blockages that females have to all of this stuff. 
So it is something, but basically you're talking about a psychic influencing program. And do these things work? They do work, but they don't work in the Hollywood way that everybody wants it to. You practice a few techniques, you go out into the street and try and use them and see what you can do. Now, I've sold Psychic Sexual Command uh, for over 30 years now. It's one of the best-selling books for a while, and people have used it, and I've got a lot of feedback, and people have gotten some good results with it. But you're not going to make somebody into your psychic sex slave where you do a few things and manipulate them and all of a sudden they're yours. This is part of the process. Uh, you could call it part of uh, when you get to know somebody or you have some sort of uh, uh, communication with them in some sort of particular uh, maybe bar situation or meeting them somewhere or their friends that ignore you uh, while they go out with losers, you know, guys that rode motorcycles with tattoos and smell like poo. Oh, I can't wait for the bad boy. So the whole idea is this kind of stuff. So you're, you know somebody maybe at work or you um, uh, meet them or have a casual relationship and you want to try and uh, manipulate them, which everybody does. And remember that everybody is d doing it. So if somebody have, works for the motion pictures, they have a fancy car, they have a boat, they have houses. Well, they wave these things in front of people's faces that they then are able to uh, influence people with. That's all part of life. What do you own? What do you have? Uh, this is part of what you um, give to another person or influence them with. And of course, we've all heard of dowries and everything else. This was commonplace where the man or the woman or even uh, both would put together um, a certain uh, value for that uh, marriage. And there was a reason for that because you should bring something to a relationship, not just uh, be there. So there's always ties to it. Uh, this love story nonsense of people falling in love and all this stuff. This is, I mean, really, does anybody believe in that nonsense? Life is very complicated. And uh, you want to try and uh, in any way possible uh, influence a person so that you can get to know them better. Uh, but it doesn't have to be just uh, in a uh, relationship way. You're trying to influence people to buy your products, to uh, go along with you, to help you in situations. This is all part of influence that you use in life, and you should. Now, a lot of other people have other in. They got big stacks of money in their wallet. They got fancy cars. They go to fancy schools. They have better positions. Well, the average person needs that edge. And this is what I always talk about, the edge of uh, radionic tech products. This is all part of getting the edge in life. And if you want greater success, you still need an edge. If you want even basic success, you need the edge. Now, a lot of people out there have been getting these books, and they were very popular at one time and very expensive. And they came out with, uh, there was a giant book of all this stuff. And, you know, you can spend your entire life learning these different systems. And one of the problems I've always found amusing is the fact that, you know, if you can run these raps with someone you meet, well, most likely you're not going to have problems meeting people. And from there, that should naturally happen. But, you know, there's so many games that are played and there's so much... Um, uh, infidelity going on, so to speak, with relationships that, you know, you know somebody and they're out messing around with someone else uh, and they're abusing and using you. Now, this could be uh, either way. As I said, uh, males are very simplistic. You know, it's pizza, uh, beer and porno. That's really a care. So it's all very simplistic and um, they are forced to play a lot of more games. Now, women are very strange and they have all sorts of their own little uh, social things. And this causes all sorts of problems and hurts people uh, on both sides of it. But there are, uh, NLP is supposed to trigger feelings within you. And um, from what I could see with people, and as I said, I knew Ross Jeffries who's still selling stuff and his material is good, but you know, it's information, it's, it's training and way of using things to influence people. It is not ever going to make somebody a slave. And none of these people seem to be uh, overly honest people as well. <clears throat> He was, uh, he was partners with a guy named Yates Knipe, who had speed seduction, this Air Force officer who went around talking about love and peace um, in the Kahuna uh, tradition, was running, had a, had a monkey, had a hump somebody website with uh, Ross <coughs> Jeffries, apparently, that he owned most of. 
and I had my book up there for a while. And he was a big, giant crook uh, that stole money from me and refused to pay royalties. I mean, this is the kind of guy, well, what does he get? He's an Air Force guy, an Air Force officer, corrupt and as horny as you can get, losers who've never won a battle, you know, typical American military. And he's out there trying to scam people with love of kahuna. So this is the kind of stuff that you get. Now, Ross Jeffries has always been pretty straightforward. I don't think he's done anything else. He's now, after knowing him for a while, he came up with a book that he, you know, how to use witchcraft uh, to influence people. So instead of using my materials and working with me, he went out and uh, did his own. Um, and, you know, he's kind of a, a strange guy, as they all are. But I've never seen him be able to function any place uh, to just grab somebody off the street, run some uh, sentences on them, and they fall madly in love. It's just not true. He was tested a few times and did pretty bad, from what I understand, failed uh, when there was this big thing going on with that. So, um, you know, it doesn't work like that. Well, NLP is interesting. And let me give you a idea of NLP. Is that you could tell somebody when you're talking with them, oh, remember your first love? You know, think about that time when you felt like you're really in love. And of course, now they're feeling this energy with them because they're remembering back. It's sense memories. And you have sense memories to all sorts of things. <clears throat> so, um, and then what you do is you put yourself in that picture. Just think of me in that situation as well. We can have a great relationship. So what you've done is now you've taken the new person, stuck them in with the old love feelings, and that's a typical way of using NLP techniques. Certain things mean things, certain sounds. you know. But, you know, all of this stuff uh, doesn't really work well. And if you're going to sit there and run all this on people and get things wrong, all of these NL people, uh, NLP people that I know of, none of them are all that successful. I mean, there was a rage of this for a while. I guess those books are still out there. Uh, but, you know, you have to study this to such a great degree. Uh, so it is just not something uh, I do recommend people get these books and study them to a degree. I mean, we have them. You don't need anything more than Mind Screw and Psychic Sexual Command. This gives you a foundation of influencing people, and it's all there. But as with everything, these are techniques. Do you have the empowerments that go behind it? And this is what it comes down to. If you expect your cells, your radionic machines to work, have you done the basic foundation work? Meaning, are you doing psychic gym work? Are you centering yourself? Are you uh, uh, pumping psychic iron by using gym tools, using uh, visualization tools, etc.? This is what you've got to use. You've got to open up your psychic centers. The thing that you're going to trigger someone who's going to fall on the, uh, the ground and spread their legs because you said a few words, or they're going to feel warm and fuzzy inside, just doesn't work. A lot of times when you enter someone's personal space at that level, and this is what happened with, with psychic sexual command officer, there's the psychic touch. And people would practice this and they would get pretty good at it. The point is, if you use a psychic touch on somebody who doesn't know you and you're in a public place, they get very upset. People have reported back to me many times that these people would get up and leave. This is kind of a strange feeling that is not appropriate there. So it's not like you're turning somebody on. People don't like to be touched, particularly women, from people they don't know. So this is the big problem. So in terms of influencing in general, it is difficult, but it is certainly able to be done. Uh, you can tune into people, program them to do things for you, and these things do work once you have the right. Now, you can do that with a machine. You can do this with uh, the psychic techniques. You do it with candles. So you can influence people, and at surprisingly high levels, if you do everything else. But, you know, that's what life is all about anyway. You're trying to influence people. You're trying to get them to actually uh, do something uh, that is for you. That could be buy your product, call you, do this, do that. These are all the things you try and work on and try things that you pump out by using your rituals, etc. There are many ways to tune into people and do that. Now, uh, all of this, when it comes into relationship situations, well, this is where it becomes very difficult because then it gets very um and this is nobody wants to deal with that. So if you're not the sage age range, if you're not, you know, if you're ugly, if you're fat, if you look weird, well, all of these things are going to go against you. But you got to remember, there's a lot of ugly, fat, weird looking women out there as well. So uh, everybody thinks that um, 
you know, I've heard this before from different people. Oh, he's not that attractive. Compared to who? There's not. I mean, most of your public out there is pretty damn plain to ugly looking. So compared to whom? So the whole idea is everybody has a chance as long as they are uh, relatively socially accepted. If you're 300, 400 pounds, well, this is going to be going against you. But there's plenty of fat women out there, too. Uh, so the whole idea is that you're looking for this, but every little bit helps. And, you know, if you think you're going to go after tens out there and you're going to manipulate younger people, well, all of this stuff uh, becomes another block in front of you. So how many blocks have you foot, put in front of you to do that? So you have to pick the right situation, the right person, and then you do your influencing in the right places. Uh, you try and affect people in uh, when not necessarily in chaotic, noisy clubs, but you try to affect somebody in a bus where it's more quiet and you can focus on them. All of the things that go on uh, to use these different techniques. And these techniques are good and they do work just like psychic warfare, etc. All this stuff works, but it doesn't work in a Hollywood reality. So if you expect to have somebody drop at your feet as your slave or you expect to knock somebody over and they drop dead, these things don't happen in that range. Can you influence people and can you do it over long term as well as psychic warfare techniques? Yes, there's a long line of people that have been affected by psychic warfare, even to the extreme level. It's not that unusual. Uh, when it comes to anything with relationships and trying to get those things going, that's always difficult. This is a very difficult situation. And one of the problems is if you have to spend too much energy on a person, and this has happened many times. People get these books, Psychic Sexual Command, Mind Screw, um, Mind Screwing, and um, they spend a lot of time working on a person, and they usually are able to influence them in a fairly strong manner. But they get tired of it because it's not something that you do once and now they're your slave. You have to do it all the time, and people resent that. You know, basically, when you look at any kind of psychic commanding, it's a push. You can push that person. You can't drag them along and you can't control them. But you can get that all-important push towards you, towards your product, towards your situation. That is extremely critical. And uh, without that, uh, that push, you're never going to have a chance whatsoever. So we need all of these things um, in our life to assist us. But you know, everybody wants to have extreme abilities. Uh, they want to have great empowerments. And we do all we can to streamline the process. That's why we have machines. That's why we have cells. But the bottom line is you can't draw the energies from the cells or project the energies from the uh, energy cells or dial your radionic machine correctly if you don't do the, the practices you have to, the centering the mind gym practices, the use of visualization tools, all of this is part of it. And they are not that expensive and they are not difficult. I make everything very fun to use, uh, toy-like, game-like. I do this deliberately to make things interesting so it's not some sort of difficult. But people don't want to buy tools to help themselves. So they don't do well in the long run. Yes, you will boost yourself because everybody is at very low levels. So when you get tools like this, everybody sees immediate results to a certain degree. But then they, then they want to own the world. King of the world, mom. So the whole idea is that this is what people run into and becomes a serious problem uh, when um, they expect to get better results. Now, you can get amazing results and manifest just about anything you want when you follow the whole system. And I put it together in a very complete system. It's very easy to follow. Um, and you, can, you get CDs, you get books. There's master amulets. There's individual amulets, or I should say cells that you can get that connect you to these awesome uh, energies. But you can't handle awesome energies until you've opened up your entire field of psychic empowerment. So all of that is the reality of what is out there. So when you get these books, I mean, I wouldn't get anything complicated. As I said, we've got the best books in this area. They're very good for techniques. They're very good to show you how to influence people. And that's what it's all about because that's what you're trying to do in life in general. You want to buy a car and get a good deal on it? Well, learn how to influence people. That's how you do it. <clears throat> and these can be helpful. 
Uh, there are many books out there, and they're usually expensive from these seduction gurus, and um, they're not worth it. Their courses aren't worth it, not, and these people are not doing that well. When uh, Every one of these gurus that were tested, I think particularly in the 90s, they went around, failed horribly. Now, if you can go up to somebody and talk to them and run lines, well, you just do that. Everything in life is a percentage. You've got to talk to people and you've got to try and spark conversations. Now, that's very difficult. People are not open. This is a dangerous world. So you have to do things that are also very direct. Uh, getting into dating services, places you can meet people. Then you use these techniques to make sure you bring the best person to you. And of course, you influence that person. Anybody who puts up with people and dates them end endlessly without them uh, committing to you uh, at a certain level, and particularly physically, sexually, uh, you don't want to have anything to do with because these people fly their legs open to every monkey that's out there. And I've seen it happen many times. If they're not responding to you, find out somebody else that does. Get rid of them and be happy you get rid of them now because if you get into relationships with them or God forbid you get married to them, they'll turn into sexless dumps. So you have to be very careful. So if somebody has a problem with all that stuff in this day and age, and of course it's stupid. You know, if you go and try and meet people that are uh, some sort of bizarre uh, religious thing that don't want to do it, and you hear this all the time, particularly within America, uh, but you know, there's a time and place for everything. And so you have to be careful whom you approach, where you approach, and what you're doing. And you have to be realistic. You know, if, um, if you're a person who isn't that attractive, well, don't try and get models. Uh, you know, uh, all these things you hear the nonsense of out there. These are all con games. So you want to try and draw people to you. And one of the things you do in general uh, is you use uh, love drawing formulas that you tune your machines in, that you're lighting candles with. You also get your love drawing amulets, uh, your energy cells. And what you're doing is creating a magnetic energy around you to meet people. That's the key. That's the key for everything. You need protection? Well, you create a magnetic field around you that brings protection to you. Money? Protection, a magnetic field. Success, the same thing. So this is what all the energy cells do, and you're filling up your energy. You're creating this magnetic field around you for what you desire. Um, at one time, it may be you need money. Another time, you're looking for relationships. Or maybe you want to break these up. You, you create a field for a couple of weeks for money and then a couple of weeks for uh, love drawing. And this. But you have to. Love drawing is, is like money drawing. You have to do it consistently to meet people. And one of the things that everybody overlooks is make sure you protect your relationships and your money. Make sure you're doing protection. So you're always doing something all the time. Because if you are successful and then ignore that fact of protecting it, well, you could lose everything. It's the same thing with relationships. You should go out and protect your relationships. Make sure that uh, those energies are still around you. Once you meet somebody, it doesn't stop. And this is where you want to use more psychic control techniques so you can keep somebody with you. But, you know, as I've mentioned, this is very tiresome. And if you're going to have to manipulate and dominate people past a certain level, it's boring and it uh, generates huge uh, resentment to that person. But in this day and age, if you want to meet somebody and you, you need to put a lot of control out there, you need to do a lot of um, what would be considered psychic influencing to bring them into you so you can at least get a chance at a relationship and see if it goes anywhere. Uh, I never used force to, I always use lots of rituals to bring people to me, but after that I said, look, either works or it doesn't. Why should I robot command them and for what reason? What does that generate? Well, the bottom line is that generates terrible resentment and ultimately those relationships will never work. But all these gurus, they have questionable morals, they're questionable and everything. Some of them are outright con artists, bad people, losers that play games. I'm a kahuna, let's be in love. And then he's got a website, Speed Seduction. I mean, these are the kind of people, and not only that, they are dishonest people. So when you run into these things, this is what, and few people know that, you know, unless you're in the industry and know what's going on, these kind of people are out there.
So, I mean, there's uh, these books and NLP in general is something you should study. Well, how, what is NLP? How can you use that in your life? Now, I don't have any books on that. There are a plethora of these books out there, and you can probably get them for free. Remember, one of the best ways to get information in general subject matter is to join the Kindle uh, Monthly Club. Because what you can do for a very small amount of money, I think it's $10, is you can get all these free books. And you can get as many books as you want. You have to, uh, you can't keep them, but you read them, you return them, then you can get another book. And I think you can get four books at a time. But this is a great way because you don't need a special book by anybody. You just need an NLP book. And when it gets to general subject matter like this, which doesn't have specific training, when you're just looking for information, uh, this is a great way and you can get it very cheaply. So I highly recommend this to anybody. So if you're looking for, you know, things on herbal cures, on medicines, um, whatever it may be of a general subject matter, I mean, you don't really need a specific book often. All you got to do, excuse me, is get this service. And they, you know, they have 500 books just on diets, 2,000 books on herbs, uh, on all these other books that are about uh, uh, psychic persuasion and other things are all there. Now, uh, the better books that have been refined, of course, aren't there. Of course, the books that uh, I offer are very unique and they're empowered to you personally and they have special sigils that you view that trigger things in your consciousness. Now, you're not going to get that from the Kindle service and we don't offer any of our books there, but general information, well, there's nothing special in the Seduction Guru's books. They don't have special images. They're not charged. They're not made for you specifically. So take advantage of this. And as I said, you can do that with any Thing. Go out there and get these services and see. I don't know what's in this area, but I'm sure there are. there's many books on persuasion there that you basically get for free. And, and so you just have to go um, read them, return them. So what? If you really love something, you could always buy it if you want to on Kindle. But this is a great way to get massive amounts of information at a very small price. And usually a lot of stuff that's on the Kindle service is um, brand new and some classics as well. So, um, so there's no way of doing it. Now, uh, one other area that I did mention uh, initially is that, you know, hypnotism has always fascinated me. And this is an area that everybody should learn. We have a book on hypnotism, but these are techniques uh, that people should even get courses in their own neighborhood and find out how hypnotism works and how they can use it in day-to-day -day practices with other people. How do you hypnotize people in terms of this is influence? This is not some bad vampire movie that they looks the person in the face and now they're their slave. It doesn't work like that. It does work by the fact of influencing. You want an opening. You want someone to consider your point of view, not reject it. How do you do that? Well, you do that by influencing them, persuading them. So that's what it's all about. And there are lots of techniques in these areas. The other thing is that you have to practice practice. When you get your basic um, systems down, you have to practice this stuff. You're just not going to go out and run some NLP on somebody or use some uh, tactic on somebody and it's just going to work instantly. You're going to have to practice this, build up your power. You're also going to have to find the right person. Some people are completely closed. So you're not going to be able to affect them. So you have to also use your techniques on multiple people and multiple situations uh, to influencing them. But there certainly is ways to influence people. Is it the seduction guru stuff? Well, I've never been impressed by it. I'm not an NLP person. Uh, uh, liker. Is that the correct term? I'm not a big fan of NLP. Uh, I think it has its place. Uh, they've done a lot of studies that these things influence people, but I'm afraid that I think these studies are pretty flawed uh, because of the fact that triggering something within anybody to trigger love in a person where they then put you at the same level of someone else that they loved, I think is complete nonsense. Does that help open a door? Well, maybe that can grow into someone uh, opening the door for you. But in general, all of these things have their effects. You know, all psychic energy that you send out and target a specific person reaches them. It affects them. It goes into their consciousness. What's the problem? Getting them to act upon your psychic command or your psychic influence. 
But does it get there? It gets there. Now, why does a person act on one thing and not another? Well, people are thinking of doing all sorts of things all day long. And you only probably act upon what you think about, that you desire, uh, probably two or three percent of those things you actually act upon. So if something comes to you uh, uh, that is different or odd, well, you're going to immediately reject it. Uh, come to me, my name is Ben. And of course, that goes to that person. They say, Ben, well, I don't like that guy. Next, this is what happens. So how do you get someone to act upon things? How does that work? Well, this is the big key to having uh, long lasting influences. Now, there are magnetic energy waves and other things that affect people where they can actually implant this in your brain. They put a message in a magnetic energy wave and they use these as weapons. They then direct it into your head and you get that very strong. And this is so strong that a lot of people tend to act upon it. But these are all the things that are very advanced, very difficult to do out there, but it's all about an entire package. Do you have your uh, mech tech cells, your manifesting energy cells? Are you doing your practices? None of this is difficult. None of it's all that expensive, but if you're doing all this and then tying in other techniques, because we have loads of technique books, but that's not what the first courses are about, even though we do uh, through the courses, I think it's course three or four, we give you extreme abilities technique. And these are two books packed with things that can uh, give you extreme abilities uh, that have worked in the past. And you need to work on these to find out what works for you. And ultimately, that's what everything comes down to. You know, most of the techniques in all these books you read about have worked for people. And the authors have tried them and have gotten some uh, mediocre to strong success with them. But the bottom line is, does not mean that it works for you? And is it something that you can do? How does that fit in your life? So all of these things are thinking that you're going to be a fairly unattractive, overweight person and you're not and you're going to make everybody into your psychic slaves. And whether that's for uh, sexual or non-sexual reasons, this is a fantasy. It doesn't work. None of these seduction gurus, when they're tested, ever produce much of anything. It just doesn't work very well. But if you're going out every night and you're talking to people, guess what? It's going to work. Everything in life is a percentage. You got to go out and meet people and learning to run certain lines on them so that you can get them uh, to a more uh, personal situation faster uh, so that this is something that you need to for your life. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. And it is going to give you an edge. You're going to be more successful getting to the promised land than you are just sitting at a bar and chatting. So you want to learn these little manipulative techniques uh, to control people in general, whether it's for business or for relationships. That's all part of taking control of your life. That's all part of manifesting sciences uh, that I have specialized in. That's all part of life is to get the edge. It's not about some Hollywood domination, which just isn't real. Hopefully that's been helpful. Until next time.